Alright, hello, welcome back to A Software Engineer Plays. Uh, starting a new series today in this game called Autonauts, which uh, I believe is a town building game that allows you to write code to automate little robots to do tasks for you. Let's go ahead and start a new game. It's the first time for me, so I think we want to go ahead and go with the colonize uh, game mode, which will let us. Um, uh, uh, meet official targets and unlock new technology along the way, so we'll go ahead and call this a software engineer plays, lack of a better name, and alright, let's get started. We're on our rocket heading towards our new planet, let's see what we got going for us here. Alright, auto save. Alright, so we're landing in a software engineer place land. And here's auto zero. Prepare. Okay, okay. Explore, collect resources, craft structures, tools, and machines, automate systems, establish industries, research, colonize. Cool. Alright, let's colonize. Okay. Standard controls. Press X to refocus, got it. Left click. Okay. Can I swim? No. Okay. Alright. Okay, the right clicking on the ground drops all objects. Still and pick the held object stow. Stow press Q. Okay. Hold on, alt and I want to see what actions you can do with it. Oh there we go, okay, a boulder. Hold one stone to use it as a basic topping tool. Find a tree and left click on it. Okay. I don't need the stone now. Right clicking on the ground drops the objects on your hand. Cool. Technology evolves, you unlock blueprints to build structures, machines, and more. Click the icon or press E to access your structural blueprints. A crude workbench. Press R. Got it. Alright. Go ahead and put this right here. Collect the parts. Right click on the foundation to add them. Okay, we need two logs and two sticks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this log. Right click it here. Okay, sticks. What do sticks look like? A lot of acorns. Not, oh, there are some sticks, okay. Oh. Just jump up and down on things to build them, that's cool. Better chopping tool, left click. Okay. Okay, so we need, what, a stone and a stick. I'm already really excited for when we get to automate this stuff. Okay. Got us an X. So let's go chop this log to make planks. Great. 
Why does it want me to chop up planks? Does that make... Okay. Ooh, bot assembly unit. Cool. Okay, we need two logs and three planks. That's a plank. No, no, don't cut it. Alright, there we go. Two locks at once? Probably not. No. Okay. Jumping up and down. Cool. Gateway to automation. Nice. But so we need pole. How many pole? One pole, three planks. Okay, we got a bot, and now we gotta charge it up. Left click. Okay. Autonauts assemble. Sweet. Your bot needs a crude axe, so let's make one. <laughs> oh, I can't wait until we've automated all this stuff, you guys. So far, I'm liking it. It's uh, pretty cute. Uh, I'm excited to see how they handle writing of code to automate. Okay, we've got our X. And now we give it to our bot. Alright, prepare to my- okay. Press space to blow your whistle and get the bots. Okay. Select bot to teach this one. Alright. We're gonna name this guy after... After my cat. Okay, okay, so we can record. Show you about how to use a crude axe to cut down a tree. Oh. Okay. Use the repeat button. Click the play button. Alright. So it looks like the coding in this game is very similar to that which we um, wrote in the Rabbids coding video way back when. Uh, the first video uploaded to this channel, actually. Um, a lot of visual coding, which is cool. Spade. Okay, what do we need? Stone and stick. We'll go to the lake to get a stone. And then we'll give the spade to the bot. I'm gonna name this one after my second cat. Okay. Left click on the soil. Error. Try again. Is that not? Oh, it's turf. Look at that bot go! Okay... Make another bot. Which means pick 
Open up a log. I need another couple of logs. Okay, we'll pick up three planks. Drop those off. Go pick up a tree seed. Drop that off. Turn this into poles. Charge them up. Alright. Okay, well, it just so happens that I've got three cats. So it makes sense that three bots be named after my three cats. Okay, and drop it in a hole. Got an achievement. All right. Cool. Pretty chill. Pretty chill. Your Academy Basics commemorative slab. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Tutorial complete. So that's, uh, we got three little bots who made a little forest here. And this guy's planting trees, that guy's digging holes, and that guy's chopping trees down. So I think to finish out the video, it would be good to see if we can... Store some of these raw materials somewhere. Let's see. Structure blueprints. Bot assembly. Storage. Okay, there we go. Pallet. Let's go ahead and get a pallet for. Put a pallet for logs right here. And. Uh, looks like our bots are running out of power. I'm guessing there would be a way to get them to automatically recharge themselves. Um, I don't know what he's unhappy about. Something. Maybe there are no trees for him to cut down in the area. Oh, what is that? Oh, did he? His axe broke. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So ideally, there would be a a bot going around making these tools and then we'd have tools in storage and there'd be a bot handing out tools to them as needed. Uh, at some point in the future. Right now I just want to get my storage set up and then I'm gonna call it a day. This is kind of an open-ended, open-ended kind of game so if these videos do well, we might spend some time here just sort of automating things and playing around with code. So far there hasn't been anything too uh, intense programmatically, but I'm having fun. Need 
three planks here, so we'll get uh, three of those, put them down here, build another bot. Looks like I need to make a lot of tools. Alright, let's go ahead and train this guy. Call this man Mr. Lumber Getter. Mr. Lumber Get 9000. Alright. We will go, we will pick up, and we will drop it off here. Okay. Go ahead and make that the max area. Perfect. Add the repeat, so he's gonna... Cool. Off he goes. We could do something similar with um, tree seeds, presumably. Um, but I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here. In the next video, I'll come back and I will try and automate making tools for these uh, four robots. And then see if there's a way that I can charge my robots automatically. That'll probably be something that we research later on in the game, but for now I will say thank you very much for watching. We'll watch our little uh, log robot run around and pick up logs for a little bit here. Uh, this has been a software engineer plays. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.